2016 become the year of a moon. Because finally, human decided to save our Earth that has been suffering for over the kid because of what human did. And finally, on 1st January 2016, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or we know as SDGs, or the 2013 Agenda for Sustainable Development, adopted by world leaders in September 2015 at a historic UN summit, officially came into force and moved. Over the next 15 years, with these new goals that universally apply to all countries, will mobilize efforts to end all forms of poverty, fight the inequalities, and tackle the climate change that happen to be dangerous for humanity to survive, while ensuring that no one is left behind. The SDGs also known as Global Goals because this goal will be globally executed without no one is left behind. Built on the success of the Millennium Development Goals, or we know as MDGs, and aim to go further to end all forms of poverty, the new goals are unique in that they call for action by all countries. It doesn't matter what is a poor countries, rich countries, middle income, or even high income or low income, to promote prosperity while protecting the planet. They recognize that ending poverty must go together with strategies that will economic growth and address a range of social needs including education, health, social protection, and job opportunities while tackling climate change and environmental protection. There are 17 goals on Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs, but today we will be focusing on number 14 which is the undersea life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have pointed out that tackling climate change and saving inf- and giving environmental protection is a must. And for your information, ladies and gentlemen, world ocean climate, chemical element on it, waves, and life in it is in ocean is a global system movement that make Earth could be a home for human, or could be a place for human to stay. The way we allocate the natural resources is very important for humans, especially the sea natural resources. Humans hang their life on sea above 70% in a year. To balance the effect of the climate change, to balance the effect of the climate change, many humans hang their job on the sea and the coastal biodiversity. But right in this moment, ladies and gentlemen, we see and we know on the actual data that 30% of fish storage in this world happen to be exploited in a massive and dangerous way. Down below the level where the fish could reproduce their existence in a long way or a long age. So the fish existence could be dangerous and could be a threat for us. Ocean also absorb more than 30% carbon dioxide that produced by human itself. And as you know guys, ladies and gentlemen, I know that everyone in here know that carbon dioxide is one of the most dangerous particles in this world that could be a threat for human. And ocean absorb more than 30% of carbon dioxide that produced by human. And we see the increase of ocean acidification until 26% since the beginning of industrial revolution. Sea pollution mostly comes from land and has reached a worrying dangerous level with average of 13,000 parts of plastic garbage found in every square kilometer of the sea. And ladies and gentlemen, the SDGs create a sustainable framework to regulate and to protect marine and coastal ecosystem from land-based pollution, as well as to raise awareness of the effect of ocean acidification. But ladies and gentlemen, for your information, ocean acidification and ocean coastal dangerous thing happen not because coming from land, but it also coming from a human who exploited more, who exploited more than it should be especially the fishermen or people who work by the coastal or by the sea. So as we stated that 30 billion people hang their jobs on the sea and they have exploited more than 30% of fish stores in this world. So it happened that the fish uh, kind of tired or kind of in a dangerous way for them to reproduce their existence in a long way to continue their living and survive. This make 
a new problem itself. So ocean acidification and ocean threat or ocean dangerous things not happen just because of land, but because of the what human did on the sea also. For example, we know that there's a case where an oil drum fell down to the sea and it exploited the environment around the sea, including the fish that were inside the sea and also the living being or the living things in the sea. And this become a new concern for us. And because of that, the SDGs or the Sustainable Development Goals ensure a framework to regulate and protect marine and coastal ecosystem. And we are here to offer a new solution also. So as we know that fishermen always catch fish on the sea and it and they catch more than the way they should above the above their level and it's 30% more than their level. And we are offering a new solution which is the captivity system. Listen, gentlemen, we know that they could catch fish in a level they should catch and they could reproduce it itself to make a new captivity for them. So, for example, if one fisherman could captive and make use of the fish in a captivity for, uh, for, for captivity pool and they could produce more than the way they could catch, it could save a lot of things in the sea, including the sea ecosystem or the ocean or the coastal ecosystem that could be an advantage for human because we know that the existence of ocean is very important for human because by the existence of ocean it saves us because ocean but again because ocean absorbs carbon dioxide which one of the most dangerous particles in this world that could be a threat for human and that's why this captivity system is very good and I encourage everybody to move this movement to in, to sound this movement so that the fishermen know the solution and they realize about the things that they cause and also for every single big human that throw plastic garbage in the sea because as you know ocean acidification could be a problem because if ocean has been acidification it will be hard for them to absorb the carbon dioxide so ladies and gentlemen to protecting our ocean is one of the 17 global goals that set in sdgs and that's why we should also move the system, execute the system to save our world. Because by saving ocean means saving the earth. And by saving the earth, it means that saving a human home. And it could save humanity. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ulber from Palitani Chinana. I hope it could motivate and realize you that how important our ocean is. Thank you.